In this video I'm going to show you how to use an InDesign library and why to use an InDesign library. So let's say you're working on your InDesign project and it's a book like this. It could be any kind of a document. And you have certain assets that you want to use over and over. And you want them to be exactly the same each time. So let's say you are doing a history book and you have a lot of portraits and you've set up this style that you want to use for all of your portraits. You want them all to be the same size and have the same shadow effect and the same text wrap that you've already set up. Let's say you have some type. I'm going to zoom in on this type. That was difficult to typeset. I'm using Bembo at the moment and it doesn't have a lot of glyphs. So I had to put these macrons on the type myself and it took a little bit of time. So I thought I'd just put them in the library so I can grab those anytime. And let's say you have a sidebar that you use often. They're all called the same thing in the news and you set up your columns. You've got one for your title, you've got two for your text, and one at the bottom for a credit, and you want it to look like this every single time. So using a library makes a lot of sense. So here's how you do that. You go to File, New, Library. You name your library. This book is called Alice in Wonderland, so I'm going to call it Alice Library, and i just choosing to save it on the desktop and I'll click save. Now this is a separate file from your InDesign file. It will appear wherever you put it. You can use it with any document you want to for any project. And if you package your files at the end, you must remember that the library is not going to go into your packaged files. If you want it to be in there, you're going to have to find it yourself and put it into the packaged file folder. Okay, so here's your library. We will just put everything into it. Just drag it in. When you have type, you drag it in. You drag the whole text frame with your selection tool and drag the whole sidebar in. Now we, it's helpful to name them, so I'm just going to call this one sidebar. It's a text object. And we'll call this one portrait. It's a geometry type of object. See, here are the choices. And then the type one, I'm just going to call it type. That's a text object type. And the library will organize your items by alphabetical order. Now this thing is kind of in the way, so let's collapse it. We just click the little icon down up here at the corner and we'll drag it over here and attach it to the rest of our panels. So here we're on page six and I'm going to pretend that we're suddenly on page 200 and we want to use a portrait and we want to have a sidebar so we will open our library by simply clicking on it like this. We want to have a portrait so what do we do? We just grab the portrait and drag it up here where we want it. So we have some difficult type on this page. We'll just drag it over here and we'll copy with our text tool, copy the word we want to use copy and paste it in place. All done. Now let's say we want a sidebar too. So let's make room for the sidebar down here. We just drag the whole sidebar over and there it is. Now you can see, I'm going to collapse this down again to get it out of the way. You can see how useful this might be and how it could save you a lot of time. It takes a lot more time to search around in your document or some previous page where you had a sidebar and then find the whole thing, then come back to this page, erase all the type, and start over. This is just much more useful and efficient.